through the windshield. Whoa, David. There's no way that isn't down. There is no way. David, fun tornado. I have a tornado on the ground. Repetitory. Large tornado. It is 4.57 p.m. 4 north of Canadian looking west from Highway 60. We have a large tornado on the ground. That is large. It's a... I think they're excited. I have a large. Can you get a of me? <laughs> All right, it is 4:58 p.m. Four north of Canadian Texas. We have a large tornado in progress. Alright, we're gonna get some tripod video. Yeah, do it, yeah. Get over. Out. Hey, okay. Thank you. This thing is not moving at all. On Highway 60. Wow. Wow, wow. wow. On the tornado, it is now moving left of the position. It's moving right at us. <laughs> it's moving right at us. Oh my Dude, it's, it's not even moving.
looking at that occlusion process. Is my phone still over? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know where it went then. Zoom in and get some motion on the bottom of that. It is 5.02 p.m. Look at that occlusion process starting. All right, let's get some motion. Five oh three PM. Inclusion process has begun. Well, time for the customary zoom in shot. Look at that. Oh, wow. Five oh four PM north of Canadian Texas. Tornado's beginning its rope out stage, looking west from Highway sixty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It stayed nearly stationary. As far as I know, it didn't hit a thing. Look at that beautiful. For lucky, as it continues to dissipate, we'll get a look inside at the actual vortex of the tornado, similar to the Goshen Wyoming tornado, I believe was on June the 5th, 2009. At this point, tornado continues its rope out stage, still quite dangerous at this point. It is 5.06 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm gonna have to watch the right side there for a possible new circulation. Oh, look behind you! 